गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू द बैलेंस डाइट दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक सम हाउ इट वॉज लेफ्ट नो इन द लास्ट लास्ट क्लास न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन एंड नाइट्रोजन बैलेंस न्यूट्रिशन एंड डायबिटिक्स इन दैट पार्ट इट इज सम हाउ इट वॉज लेफ्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ बैलेंस डाइट नाउ डेफिनेशन डेफिने ऑल ऑफ यू कैन हियर मी हेलो yes ma'am it's okay definition a diet is said to be balanced one when it includes proportionate quantities of food items selected from different basic food groups so as to supply the essential nutrient in complete fulfillment of the requirement of the body now basis a balanced diet should be based on locally available foods should be within the economic means of the people it should be within the economic means of the people should fit with the local food habits and diet should be easily digestible and palatable and should contain enough roughage material roughage material is fiber material fiber dietary fibers already i have explained what is dietary fiber what are the different types of dietary fiber what is the source how it is absorbed how it is it acts the function of the dietary fiber everything is finished in the last last part okay so balanced diet should contain enough roughage materials such a diet just a diet containing the required quantities of the different essential nutrients would perform the basic functions of the food okay basic functions of the food already you are this basic function of the food ingredient already taught in the chemistry carbohydrate chemistry lipid chemistry protein chemistry nucleotide chemistry in each and every metabolism we have to start we have to study a little bit about the chemistry what is already this one basic functions of the food items is already explained on those class okay so such a diet containing the required quantities of the different essential nutrient would perform the basic functions of the food now basic food groups what are the basic food groups all essential nutrient including accessory food factors like vitamins and trace animal trace elements nowadays antioxidant you can include also no different because different water soluble vitamins acts as a antioxidant that's why in broader class group you can say vitamins and trace any elements required for the proper functioning trace elements or minerals and some antioxidant minerals basically required for proper functioning of the body are distributed in varying quantities in different natural foods constituting the basic food groups basic food groups have been initially divided into seven groups but now they have been put mainly into four basic group food groups what are they those four basic food groups now milk groups this milk groups includes all the dairy products meat groups including meat fish high protein content food okay in the meat group high protein content body building including meat fish egg pulses meat fish eggs are animal origin pulses bean and nuts are the proteinaceous food from plant origin green leafy vegetable and fruit groups contain green leafy vegetable and fruit groups specially contains vitamins and antioxidant and trace elements cereal groups cereal groups rice bread rice wheat barley etc 
all are basically high carbohydrate containing group okay high carbohydrate containing group this meal group milk group the first one is high uh, high lipid containing containing group as well as the protein a balanced diet should be an intelligent assortment of the item from each of these four basic food groups so that different foods rich in different nutrients can be contribute to the total nutritive value of the diet very important okay a balanced diet should be an intelligent assortment of the food items from which of these four basic food groups so that different foods rich in different nutrients can contribute so that the total nutritive value of the diet planning for a balanced diet planning for a balanced diet number 1 it's depend on age gender of the person and calorie requirement okay age sex and calorie requirements while planning the diet for any individual his or her age sex physical activity involve and special nutritional needs a growing like a growing child or a pregnant or lactating lady if any must be taken into account in determining the total calorie requirement and total daily requirement of the nutrient number 2 selection of nutrient from basic food groups selection of nutrient from basic food groups the required quantities of food items are to be selected from the four basic groups okay required quantities of food items are to be selected from the basic food groups in such a way that their total nutritive values satisfy the estimated requirements okay the required quantities of the food items are to be selected from the four basic food groups okay already explain what are the four basic food groups meat groups meal groups okay those are the groups green leafy vegetables from out of these four food groups this basic nutrient has to be selected the required quantity of the food items are to be selected from the four basic food groups in such a way that their total nutritive value satisfy the estimated requirements the selection should be based on varieties of foods and if the requirements for calories and proteins are met the vitamins and minerals requirements are automatically fulfilled number 3 these are the planning for the balanced diet how do you plan the diet to be balanced okay economic status of the individual that is also very important in formulating balanced diet it is imperative and necessary that the economic status of the individual is taken into account so that the diet is within the purchasing capacity of the individual number 4 high cost and low cost diet high cost and low cost diet for a rich person planning of a balanced diet does not pose any problem okay because he can afford to purchase the food recommended in case of a person belong the low income group low socio economic group it poses the problem cheaper item have to be selected 
and the same time care should be taken that nutritional and calorie requirement are fulfilled okay at the same time we have to also notice that that type of food item should fulfill the all nutritional and the calorie requirement okay a balanced diet formulated losses relevance if it does not conform to his or her purchasing capacity okay like that you have to plan for a balanced diet repeating again planning for a balanced diet number one point is sex and calorie requirement it depends on the person's age gender and the how much calorie he is he required okay how much calorie he is required you have to measure the you have to consider his age his or her age okay his surface area surface area of the body weight of the patient condition of the patient whether she is pregnant or lactating mother or growing child like that or he is having any type of pathological condition and the disease state okay that also has to be considered then the selection of the nutrient from the basic food groups okay all from the all already mentioned these four basic food groups you have to selection of the nutrients so that the diet should must is is balanced okay it fulfill the required calorie requirement okay and nutri nutrients third the socioeconomic conditions of the person also must it is very important it must be considered so see you economic condition and his or her purchasing capacity then high cost and low cost diet okay high cost and low cost diet you have to plan differently now the example of the balanced diet example of the balanced diet composition of a typical balanced diet for an adult male doing moderate work non veg that is the high cost diet this is the non veg high cost diet okay compared composition of the typical balanced diet for a adult male doing the moderate work non veg high cost diet the food items are cereal 475 g per day pulses 65 g per day green leafy vegetables 125 gram per day other vegetables the requirement of the green leafy vegetables are more because it contains trace and elements vitamins and antioxidants okay as compared to the other vegetable other vegetable 75 root and tubers 30 fruits 30 milk group 100 milk meat fish 30 fats and oil 40 fats and oil and milk also they are all are included in the milk group okay eggs 30 sugar 40 the above diet provides about 2800 calorie 2800 calorie 2800 calorie and about 75 g protein of high quantity okay and about 75 g of protein of high quantity this composition of a minimum cost balanced diet doing moderate for a adult male doing moderate work food items are cereal pulse cereal quantity is more sorry cereal quantities are less as compared to the high cost diet here in the high cost diet cereal quantity 475 g per day but here 245 g per day but as the cereal quantity is reduced so 
the calorie requirement you have to compensate by giving more pulses right the calorie requirement must be compensated by increasing the pulses amount that is a hundred gram per day there in high cost diet it is 65 green leafy vegetable also more 1 125 year year also 200 okay you have to fulfill the required demand of the body okay nutritional demand potatoes 200 colocasia 100 groundnut 50 germinated bengal greens 50 oils 35 and sugar also 35 such diet will supply approximate 2700 2, calorie and approximately 80 gram of vegetables protein there 2800 calorie and 75 grams of protein of high quality 75 grams of protein of high quality these are maybe vegetable protein or mostly animal protein okay but here in the low cost diet 80 grams of vegetables protein now costlier item costlier item like meat fish milk and egg have been replaced by comparatively cheaper food of vegetable origin cheaper food of vegetable origin okay their cost is less and nutritionally considers adequate okay all on the food item of vegetables origin they are nutritionally very adequate okay nutritionally they are adequate and but their cost is less now limitation 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 such diet based exclusively on vegetarian food this low cost diet okay having 2700 kilo uh, calorie and 80 grams of vegetables protein okay such diet based on exclusively vegetarian food vegetarian foods there will be a possibility of developing deficiency of vitamin b12 okay so there will be possibility of the deficiency of vitamin b12 in future because vitamin b12 is always animal origin okay vitamin b12 please remember vitamin b12 is the only water soluble vitamin that is stored in our body okay vitamin b12 is the only water soluble vitamin that is stored in our body especially in hepatocytes right and rest of the water soluble vitamin mostly almost all the water soluble vitamin okay if it is more than the required amount consumed more than the required amount it can be eliminated in urine by the kidney okay okay mostly they are eliminated by the kidney in the form in urine right but vitamin p12 is the only water soluble vitamin that is stored in our body and which has the animal source okay if there is deficiency of the vitamin b12 that is very important if it is vitamin b12 deficiency occur then folate trap will be occur once folate trap will start then series of reaction will going on okay one carbon metabolism will be hampered if one carbon metabolism is hampered amino acid metabolism will be hampered and several reaction will be hampered okay transmethylation reaction will be hampered okay like that okay series of abnormality will be occurred okay so it is vitamin b12 is very important okay the above can be prevented by taking but how it, it can be prevented okay for the low low cost balanced diet okay it can be overcome right it it can be also overcome so the above can be prevented by taking small fishes once or twice in a week that also very low cost okay small fishes are very low cost but rich source of vitamin b12 remember by taking small fishes once or twice in a week supplemented by a by an egg okay 
these are the low cost protein and vitamin b12 containing food for low cost planning okay low cost planning as the requirement of vitamin b12 is very small okay very small but it is very important okay it is very essential but requirement is even though the requirement is very small but it is required very essential okay the storage capacity of the liver is very high okay the storage capacity of the liver liver is very high the that means half life is more okay as the storage capacity of the liver is very high the half life of the vitamin b12 is more as compared to the rest of the vitamins right body is designed like that okay vitamin b12 is the high half life so it can be stored for long duration in inside the hepatocytes the chance of developing such deficiency is very rare okay that's why chances of developing deficiency is very rare use of certain unconventional food items okay use of certain unconventional food items certain food items certain food items are discarded due to ignorance and their of their food values okay certain food items are discarded due to ignorance of their food values many of them are often found to be rich sources of proteins and calories <coughs> and if consumed can effectively protect the body against nutritional disorder this example include jackfruit seeds okay jackfruit seeds pumpkin seeds water lily seeds all seeds easy to remember that's why easy to remember watermelon seeds etc the kernel portion if suitably cooked can be good source of calorie and proteins not even the calories and the protein this fruits seeds contain high amount of antioxidant like terpene and catechin okay antioxidant okay these are the antioxidant okay they induce the genobiotic metab they induce the genobiotic metabolism in the liver okay actually they induce the protein responsible the first phase first phase of the genobiotic metabolism okay there are different types of phases in the genobiotic metabolism okay the first phase is very important hydroxylation phase cytochrome p450 is involved in that phase okay cytochrome p450 involved in that phase okay all the enzymes responsible for genobiotic metabolism specially okay along with the enzyme is the first phase cytochrome p450 along with cytochrome 4 p450 the other enzymes also there they are induced by this antioxidant that are present in the jackfruit seeds pumpkin seeds water lily seeds what watermelon seeds these antioxidants are termed as catechin or terpene okay similarly small snails small snails oysters and crabs meat are also delicious high nutritive value these are protein sources food okay containing high calorie and high protein and can be consumed various types of mushrooms available in the rural areas okay rural areas are the good source of protein obviously this mushroom doesn't contain amanita phalloids those block the rna polymerase 
this a mushroom doesn't contains the amanita phalloids like like toxins which inhibit the rna polymerase okay and vitamins b complexes and are extremely popular in developed countries so that's all about the balanced diet this one you have to remember the high cost diet okay high cost diet it is important what are the composition of the high cost diet and what are the what are the ingredient is replaced in the high cost diet okay in the form of low cost diet you have to remember okay then thank you